Hello, in this video I'll be showing you how to cross stitch with light effects thread, which is basically metallic thread. I do love stitching with this myself, I use it in lots of designs, however I know it can be quite difficult for a beginner to get the hang of, and actually even more experienced stitchers don't like using it, it can tangle quite easily. But if you follow some of these tips that I'm going to give you, hopefully it'll make it easier. So like your cotton thread it's in six strands a lot looser than cotton though so it'll be very easy to just take your two strands like you do with cotton just take your two strands off make sure that at the top and then you've got your two strands of thread and um, obviously i've already cut mine here now if you have one of my kits i already do this for you so you can skip this part however if you don't have one of my kits and you're just you're buying it yourself I recommend buying some thread conditioner now you can get this from any needlecraft store online in brick and mortar shop they will sell it so take the lid off I use actually thread heaven one I love it um, take your ends of your thread pop it in like so, pop your finger on it and just pull your thread through slowly and that will just coat your thread in the conditioner and it should help with the stitching, it should help it not tangle as much and then you need to like as normal just thread your needle This is a little harder to get in. As you can see, I am struggling. There we go. Now, when you thread your needle, I want you to put your needle as close to the tip of the thread as you as you can really. As, uh, make sure that it's secure but only leave a little bit at the end then again I've already marked my middle and everything so just jump in pull it through like you would so leave your length of thread at the back in and you just go a little bit more slowly than you would with your cotton and then up, catching that thread at the back and down. Now, it will be a little more raised on your rider than cotton will. It doesn't sit quite as flat. So you have to pull it a little bit tighter, but not too tight that you're going to ruin your design. Now, when you come up here, try not to go through the thread because that is how it tangles. Make sure you're at, sitting right at the edge of the thread that's already like on the eider there down I'll show you that again now and then up catching that at the back down so what I mean is now when you come back up it's very easy with this to come in that is through the thread that is through the middle you need to pull it tight, maybe hold at the back if you need to, just to make room for your needle to come up in its own space. And pull and through slowly. Now, when you come up again, now I'm just going to show you this little tip. So this is what is happening to your thread at the end. See that little knot? That's where your needle's been sat. So the reason I say to thread it so close to the edge is that you can pull your needle up and down and you can just get your scissors and snip that end bit off. pull it down a little bit and again it's close to the edge 
as you can get it and then you can just carry on and again pulling it tight hold it at the back so it's nice and tight Up. now what I'll do is I'll go under for the row underneath just to show you that so what so now going under so when you're going in this hole here make sure you're not going through the thread you're going in its own little space and again when you're coming up here your own little space now this is where it gets a little bit more difficult when you've got a group of them like this so you come up here you can see my needle is not going through any thread now if you when you're going down try and sort of push these out the way and pull it through and then keep just keep going and as you can see mine is not tangling that thread conditioner is working if you didn't have the thread conditioner on the noise that this makes when it goes through the eye there it's so loud and then that'll be about time to snip that end again as you can see it's starting to knot again a little bit Now, see, not so you just pull, 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 and snip that end bit off where it started to tangle, and stop and keep going. Just keep going, and then you end the same way as you would any other one, and that's how you. So with metallic thread or light effects thread.